It's me, Molly. Kaya is a wonderful place to play with my friends and explore the outdoors. I live here with my family at the Denali Training Post. Would you like to explore with me? Let's go! Use the arrows to explore my village. You can also use your keyboard. Hey there, Molly! How's it going? Hey, Trini! If you want, we can grow giant vegetables in my garden. Veggiezilla! Hi, everyone! It's me, Molly. And I'm Trini. Welcome to my garden. Vegetables need sunlight to grow. And in the summer, Alaska gets a lot of sunlight. So our veggies can get really big. Help us grow giant vegetables to eat. Maybe we'll even win prizes at the Alaska State Fair. Cabbage. Here are our cabbage plants. We're going to take care of them so they can grow really big for the fair. If you want to take a break or start over, tap this button. Oh no, the soil in our garden is getting too dry. What can we read to learn how to water our plants? Each of these will help us find out how to fix our soil. Great job! Nice! This informational blog post can help us learn how to fix our soil. Plants need lots of water. When soil gets dry, gardeners water their gardens with watering cans or hoses. What tool should we use to water our soil? Tap the soil to add water. Awesome! Our soil isn't dry anymore, and our plants are growing. We are ready for the fair. Let's see how much the cabbage weighs. We did it! Wow, that cabbage is enormous! And we won first place in the Alaska State Fair! I can't wait to share these yummy vegetables with our friends and family! Woohoo! Let's grow some more big vegetables. Tap the button to... We've got a new vegetable to grow. Squash! Here are our squash plants. We are going to take care of them so they can grow really big for the fair. Great job! Yikes! A hare! It's hungry for our veggies. What can we read to learn how to remove hairs from the garden? Which of these will help us find out how to keep hairs away from our garden? A book called Dr. Frank A book called Dr. Frankenbunny. Hmm, that book won't help us. It's a fictional story. Great job! Nice! This seed packet can help us learn how to keep hairs away. Clover can be planted near gardens to keep away animals like hares. Hares eat the clover and leave the garden alone. What tool should we use to keep hairs away from our veggies? Tap the grass to plant clover. Nice! That clover will keep hairs out of our garden.
crazy. That's awesome. We are ready for the fair. Let's see how much the squash weighs. <laughs> We did it! Gwenzy, that squash is huge! And we won first place in the Alaska State Fair! I can't wait to share these yummy vegetables with our friends and family! We need to find a basketball so we can play! Want to go find it? I'll put it in my backpack. We can bring it to the basketball hoop at school to play. This is my backpack. The things you find will go in here. And we can give them to our friends and family in Kaya. Tap on things in my backpack to find out more about them. Hi, I'm Molly. And my mom is helping me learn how to bead. Beading is an important part of our culture. These are all my beading design cards. Design cards teach people how to make new things. Choose one of Molly's designs or make your own. Here are all my beading designs. My family and friends gave me many of these. Pick the design you'd like to make. Mountain flower, valley flower. Here's the design card you picked. Valley flower, so beautiful. The card tells us the title of the design and a description. It also has the list of materials and the steps for beading our design. This design has nine steps. Let's get started. We should make sure we have everything we need. Read the materials list and tap all the items we'll be using. Materials, pencil, pencil, that's on our list. Claw, that's on our list. Bead box, that's on our list. Needles, that's on our list. Red, great job. You looked at the list of materials and picked everything we need. Now let's read the steps we need to follow. Step one, trace the shape with the pencil. Tracing the shape tells us what the design looks like. Tap to trace the shape. Looks good! Step 2. Choose the green beads. That's right! That's the color we need for this step. Let's go to the next step. Step 3. Stitch the green beads until you're done. Four, choose the blue beads. That's right, that's the color we need for this step. Let's go to the next step. Step five, stitch the blue beads until you're done. Tap to stitch your beads. Step six, choose the pink beads. That's right, that's the color we need for this step. Let's go to the next step. Step seven, stitch the pink beads until you're done. Step eight, choose the red beads. That's right, that's the color we need for this step. Let's go to the next step. Step nine, stitch the red beads until you're done. This design looks amazing. I think it would make a great gift. Hi there, Molly. Hi, Grandpa Nat. 
Do you want to sing and drum traditional songs with me? I'd love to. I have a drum in my backpack. Let's get it from my backpack. I love sharing this tradition with you, Molly. Let's make some music.